Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at some of the options you've got when composing a new email message. So in Mail, when you compose a new message, you may get a screen that looks like this. You've got the basics here. You can specify who the email is going to by typing their email address or their name and it gets their email address from your address book. And you can put a subject line in the email. You can also select who it's from if you have more than one email address account set up. And you can specify a signature and edit the signatures in there and then you can compose the message. But there's a lot more that you can do here. So for instance you can go to view and turn on the CC address field. CC is kind of an old fashioned term. It means carbon copy. It means send a copy of this email also to these other addresses. So you could put in who this email is to and then include somebody else in the CC field. For instance, you may tell somebody that you're going to be meeting them for lunch today. And you may CC one of your coworkers just so they know you're not going to be around during lunch. The to means that the email is directed directly to that person, whereas CC usually means it's just some extra information that you want other people to know as well. It's kind of an etiquette thing. The functionality is the same. You can put three names in the to field or those same three names, one in the to field and the other two in the CC field and they all get to the same people. It's basically just saying that the email is really meant for whoever is in the to field. But you also want the people in the CC field to get a copy of this email just so they have the information. Now related to that there is also the BCC field which is blind carbon copy. The difference is that nobody else sees who gets blind carbon copied on something. So for instance if you email to a person in the to field then include two people in the CC field everybody sees everybody else's email address. One of the people who gets it can see exactly who it went to and who was carbon copied. But nobody gets to see who was blind carbon copied on it. So for instance somebody may say uh, looking forward to seeing you at lunch today may carbon copy some coworkers but they may also carbon copy say uh, their boss under blind carbon copy and nobody else gets their boss's email address or even sees that the boss has actually gotten a copy of this email. A common thing to do with BCC is if you want to send an email to a whole bunch of people but you don't want everybody to get everybody's email address. So say you run a club organization or sports team uh, you can send an important email to yourself and it looks like to everybody that you send an email from yourself to yourself and you put all of the team's email addresses in the blind carbon copy field so that nobody gets to see all of the other email addresses. You don't get this list of 30 email addresses who the email was sent to or carbon copy to. Also comes in handy when you want to have an invitation sent to a bunch of people but you don't want everybody to see exactly who was and who wasn't invited. Another thing you've got here is you've got the reply to address field. So typically when you send email to somebody and they reply they're replying directly to your email address, the one you sent the email from. But you can change that using the reply to field. This works if you have two email addresses. Say you're at home and you're using your home email address but you want to send out a work email. You can put in the reply to field your work email address so that anybody who replies to that email, the reply goes to your work email address, not your home email address. You've also got other ones here. You've got a priority field. So this it's a bit old fashioned but you can set your email to high priority, normal priority or low priority um, and it's something that other email clients uh, may recognize. So if you have an extremely important message setting it to high priority will maybe get a little alert uh, in the other person's email client so they can see that the message is important. Of course overusing that is the quickest way to make it ineffective. In addition you could also go to customize here and you can very easily set what you want to appear. So I hope that explains some of the options you have when composing email. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.